though your text said you'd had a bad night. Oh, no, it weren't that bad. I think everyone had a good time, actually. Linda. Sorry. I spoke to the solicitor. Janine's gonna sell Mick's share of the Vic. She's what? When? As soon as she gets the death certificate. I won't even know. But I don't even get invited to the funeral. Right, sod this. Breakfast. Let's get this in. Thanks. After Mick's presumed dead, Janine can do what she wants. I mean, it could take four months or it could take a year. A year? Well, that gives you time. That's if he's not found sooner. You thought about talking to Janine? <laughs> Her solicitor says she's refusing contact. I mean, she'd probably want double what it's worth. Well, if you try the bank, get an alone. The pig's barely turning a profit. We could do a fundraiser. You could do something in the Vic, I could do something in the gym. Sharon. Yeah, I know, it's not enough. Well, have you thought about selling your shares in the salon? You won't even touch the sides. But Janine is going to sell to the highest bidder. Then that'll be a chain. And they'll want us out. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Hey, that was Holiday Club. Oh, it was great. Holly's made me a recycled robot for the fridge. Oh. Thought you had enough on your plate to worry about dinner, so. Oh, did you make that? Oh, please. Minute Mark's finest. <laughs> <laughs> so, any more thoughts on what you might do? Well, we can't live in limbo. You know, not for a year. If she sells her half to a brewery, we might have to sell ours, you know. Leave the Vic. I don't want to leave. Oh, sweetheart. Linda, why don't you... Uh... Come on then, baby. In we go then. In we go, darling. You know, Ollie, when I was a little girl, I used to live here too. We can't leave. Daddy won't know where we've gone. Darling, I promise you, no matter where you go, Daddy will always be with you, OK? Go on, sweetheart, in you go. I'll be in in a minute, all right? How do you feel about going into business with a friend? Pub experience, big gob. Looks great in a pair of stilettos. I didn't know Alfie was looking to invest. <laughs> could you afford it? Well, I've got the gym. If I could free up some money, get an investor of my own. I suppose I could talk to Denise about selling my shares in the salon, you know, pool our resources. Well, it's still early days. You'd really do that? For me? You and the kids have been through enough. I mean, this place has got a lot of history. Oh, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I mean it. Just leave it with me, yeah? 